Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I, I heard earlier it was going to be quite a few minutes before, but I'll, I'll go with it. Now, thank you very much. Um, I, I have uh, questions of uh, Ms. Harris, if I could, please, um, if you get your mic uh, on yes, close. Sir. Okay. Um, uh, I, I'm just, uh, I was one of the sponsors of the bill um, uh, on the fly ash legislation, so I'm just, uh, I'm, let's just start with that, if you would. Have you read both of the bills? I've, uh, I've read some summaries of them. Okay. Could you, uh, could you summarize the difference between the two bills? Um, I'm not sure. Between the Senate and the House bills? No. Between the House bills that passed, the Senate never taken one. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, no, sir. I ha then I haven't read both of them. I, um, and, I, and I'm not familiar enough to summarize the differences. Okay. Because yes, you, you made quite a bit in your, in your written presentation about your knowledge of it, but you're saying you've not even read the bill and you don't know the difference between the two. I, um, Thank you. That's a... Do, do you do you acknowledge that the um, does the EPA have the expertise to deal with fly ash? Well, I think my it, position. Kind of a yes or no. Um, I, I think they're in a better position than we are to okay. deal with that, and that's fly fine. ash. That, 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 and, I, and that was my point. So, if <clears throat> if they have the expertise, and they've made. You, they've made some determinations about fly ash over the last few years. I'm just curious. Um, do you do you disagree with their report? Two report. You're familiar. They've done two reports on fly ash. Are you not? Well, I'm familiar that they've done the reports. I'm not sure. I'm intimately familiar with the details of those reports. Uh, interesting. They did. They've done two reports, and both times the EPA has said it's not a hazardous material. So by you, your statements in your testimony are based on what fact? Based on, actually, do you I have think the Do you have the educational background, the science background um, to differ with them on this? If the EPA has said it's okay. No, I, I submitted with my testimony. We've had some pretty significant research that's taken place at Duke University in that, that study that was released and attached to my testimony. Well, I, no, my question, what, how did you differ from the EPA's own determination? They've done it in 93 and 2000. Both times they said EPA that the fly ash is not a hazardous material and it should be continued to be recycled. It's a way of taking care of the product. So if you're differing from that, I'm just curious on what scientific basis are you saying the EPA is wrong? Um, as, as I mentioned, thank you for that question. As I mentioned, the, um, we have had some scientific studies that have been undertaken in North Carolina by uh, Duke University. Dr. Van Gosh, I included it in my testimony, and then it shows contamination from seepages from some of these coal ash ponds. Okay. The, um, <clears throat> the material, I think the, one of the material differences is that the, the, uh, the opponents of the legislation, and we passed it four times out of the House, is that they did not want, uh, the, uh, the people in, in the House did not want the EPA to have primacy, and they wanted to retain that control with the uh, with that, uh, state legislature or state governing groups. Um, now, are you saying that North Carolina doesn't have the expertise to handle fly ash? Um. Yes, sir. That's been my experience with um, working with our agencies and working with the legislature and to try and get a better, safer regulatory regime for coal ash. I don't feel like we have good regulations in place. Okay. Do, you, do you know that, do you, if, if, well, you've acknowledged that you haven't even read the bill and, and, and you don't know the differences. You know in, the, in, this, in the, the bill, one of the major differences was that we listen to people like you and we and we adopt we had put language into the bill to deal with the disposal of fly ash that heretofore is not in not current in current law and if for you in north carolina it gave you the ability in north carolina to call for liners uh, under new impoundments so we're trying in the epa and and furthermore, that if the EPA determines that you in North Carolina are not following those standards, they can seize the landfill and take it over primacy themselves. So by virtue of what you're saying, you, you were having problem that you thought you, that with the legislation is actually was to, intended to help you in North Carolina and any other state that has some degree or lack thereof of how to dispose of fly ash. So 
I'm really troubled by your, by your remarks, particularly your, 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 uh, your written testimony. And I, I appreciate what you're saying. I, I'm, I'm for, fortunately we've run over time, but, but thank you because you, you've explained a little bit about why you've taken the position you've had. Thank you very much. Well, I appreciate that. I think a lot of my remarks were driven by the findings of the CRS report, and I, I think they found significant shortcomings with the bill, and that, I think I was basing my testimony on that, the CRS report. Thank you. Okay, so you know, you're in opposition to the, what the Environmental Council of States, one of the, one of the more well-recognized groups around the country, that they were supporting the, the Association of States and Territorial Solid Waste Disposal. So many people all came together, the stakeholders, to make this bill possible. And you're saying they were, they were wrong. I, I find that curious. Thank you very much. Sorry, yield back my time. Gentlemen's time's expired. Um, uh, just for comedy and uh, and appreciation for the, the committee. Uh, not everyone has a lot of scientific expert. Uh, I, I definitely don't. I understand legislators trying to be involved, and uh, I'm a big co-ash supporter. Uh, we appreciate you being here and your your testimony. Um, I want to do a couple more pieces of business.